Edward Forty Hands. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Pan Geekery Podcast, a live weekly video podcast uh, celebrating all things geek from an all diverse perspective. We are going to be talking about um, TV, films, video games, covering all the nooks and crannies of fandom. Welcome to episode nine! Yay! Uh, my name is Earl. I am an actor, um, improviser, and when I was a kid, my nickname was Tank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is Caitlin. I'm an actor, a director, a writer, and a singer. And when I was a kid, my nickname was Pink Spot because I had a pink spot um, on my forehead. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. That's it's a little Igo. Yeah. Oh, oh right. so <clears throat> wow. I was wow. bullied pretty bad. Oh, and sorry. you guys didn't need to know that. <laughs> I know, <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. <laughs> I was named Tank because. I was shaped like a tank. <laughs> <laughs> that was my sensei. No, he, he, I was going to say oh, something. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> like a Sherman. He had a big like, barrel. And, yeah. I'm just kidding, go ahead. Go ahead. Hi, guys. I'm Walter. <laughs> I'm a camera, filmmaker, photographer, uh, traveler, and martial artist. And sometimes actor, depends on what it is. Right, 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 right. You're not gonna tell us your childhood name. I actually, I, honestly, I did not have a childhood nickname. Oh, that's because you didn't deserve one. Oh, yeah, damn. I wasn't. I wasn't cool enough. Clearly. That's all. We can give you one, like you know, or right bullied now. enough. Just, what should we call? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I like loser. What do you guys think of that one? Loser face. That's just my middle loser name. Okay. That's just my middle well, name. So loser talents. <laughs> Anyways. With a last name like that, how can Before you Before we a- go on, <laughs> um, I just want to give a shout out to our sponsors, Jimmy John's and their $10 box lunch. Thank you. Unwitch. Woo. Gargantuan Unwitch. And to our uh, location sponsors, PWC, Filipino Workers Center. Thank you for uh, letting us into your home. Um Check out their website at yeah. pwcsc.org. pwcsc.org. So, again, uh, before we continue, uh, if you're in chat, uh, type in some questions, hit us up, um, and hopefully we'll get to those by the end of uh, the show. So, uh, what's everybody been up to this week? <sighs> what have I been up to this week? We what did something I? fun on Sunday, didn't we? Right. Yeah, but we got to save it. Right. We got to save it for later. I'm going to talk about that a for little late. bit later. A mm-hmm. little bit so later. So it's a secret. Yeah. It's gonna I be don't fun. know. I was kind of a homebody this week. Well, what did you guys do? Um, mine was pretty eventful. I don't know if you want me. Do you want me to talk about it? Oh, yeah, you yeah, yeah, you can yeah, absolutely. Go yeah. Humble it. brag. Go for it. Actually, no. It was really crazy weekend. I didn't, I didn't do much at night, but in the daytime, like, right. um, I do this thing called um, Dog Brothers Tribal Gathering, where it's like a Filipino martial arts oh, cool. stick and stick and blade fighting. Oh, what's the name of the the martial art? Uh, Kali, Kali, okay, Kali right. or Eskrima or Arnis. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Depend, don't get me into the right, yeah. <laughs> why the, the there's three names. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're the same thing. It's the they? same thing. Yeah. It's Politics basically and, stick like, and knife or sword like, yeah. fighting. The Filipino martial art, but yeah. there's like three names. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. It's a long story. I know. It's, yeah. um, it's anyways, a but um, so the Dog Brothers, we, we do this, uh, the tribal gathering was this, was this weekend, mm-hmm. and it's basically where we do real contact stick fighting, where um, you just, we wear light pads, like uh, a mask, like a fencing mask kind of, and light, light gloves, and, um, and that's about it. Sometimes people wear like light elbow pads or knee pads just to protect the joints. But you go pretty much close but, to full contact. Yeah, pretty much real contact. We like right. swing at each other like with full force, and then to a degree, there's control. Like when this, mm-hmm. the person starts getting uh, wrecked, right. um, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a, wait, the so technical you don't term. shed blood? What kind of a? Yeah. Sport oh, actually, is no. This? There was blood shed. Yeah. Oh, I, great. Blood shed. I actually, I what? actually. <laughs> I actually accidentally like well because it, that we closed well it was an accident really but we closed it off with a eight on eight match because we had guys there's people from all around the country come eight in here eight on eight I yeah. can only imagine and then there were Canadians there were videos that of came that. yeah 
So they were Canadian, so we did a North Hollywood clan versus right. uh, Canada. The Great White North. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> eight on eight fight. So who won? <laughs> uh, I mean, there's really no winners. There's no trophy. But I think there was less injury or blood from our side, I would like to think. like I. So one guy, they cornered. They cornered a couple of our guys, just flew in there with a flying knee. And then one guy just came in and hit me right in the leg, like right. the thigh, because I had a shield. It was like, so I had a small um, a buckler. Right. But there's another name for that, but and a stick. And so I was getting whacked in the leg and all this. I just punched him right in the, <laughs> in the mask with a, with a shield. Yeah. And I didn't know until afterwards, but apparently, like, I did it, I did it so hard that it's like, it pushed the shield into him, cut him. Oh, and he was just bleeding, and I was like, "Oh, so you crap. drew blood?" Yeah, I mean, there was a few blood, and like one guy got dropped, like some knee shots. Did you? Did you bleed? Me no. Oh. Do you bleed? I mean, <laughs> most of my bruises were like, oh, like here. I know. I'm imagining this like 300 style Leon- Leonidas. It's what I yeah. fight all in a pit with like sticks. Everything's and like monochromatic. Yeah, and- <laughs> this <laughs> is Escriba. I'm probably like the smallest guy there, the shortest guy <laughs> there. Like everyone's oh. there's this my knife fight my uh, on Sunday was this he was probably like, the biggest smiling dog, um, and he's huge. He's gotten swole, so right. swole, like, swole dog. He, like yeah, that's his, <laughs> that should have been his name. <laughs> but I don't know if you guys see, go check out my Facebook or IG. I posted some photos. Like, yeah, they're pretty um, cool. Yeah, look, if there's no blood, I'm not interested. So, <laughs> just for the record, I know. Well, oh. there was, like I said, there was blood. <laughs> Technically, there, there was, was blood. Make blood some dinner go on. People get. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If I can't she'll, make dinner go on, she'll start my cooking. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I she'll start putting <laughs> out her <laughs> little Please. blood out, stew out, up in she here. She has her outdoor oven, just collecting <laughs> blood, just That's milking so people. Gross. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, can I say I did go to the LA Asian? Uh, oh yeah, oh, yeah that's yeah, right. Yeah. That was going on this Night weekend. Gala. Yeah. They did Yellow Rose by uh, Diane Braga. She mm-hmm. was the uh, she was the director, and it starred Ava Noblezada, who's mm-hmm. also Filipino American, and Leah Salonga as well. I went hoping I could stalk Leah Salonga. But right. <laughs> she, but she wasn't left. there. Leah didn't come. She. You, you came to the Rodney. Uh, yeah, yeah. Trying to I was stalk Leia. She wasn't there. Like, she put on her Twitter like last second, I guess. Like, oh yeah, I'm on tour. Leia, so, why you gotta do so that? We didn't get to see her, and then Ava was doing a show, but the movie was great. Oh, that's the, great. The lead, Ava, mm-hmm. whom I saw in London five years ago as the star of Miss Saigon. She was like 17, so she must be like 21, 22 now. Right. Fantastic. She'd never even done a short film. Really? She yeah. Wow. This is her first feature. And she brought it. There was, I heard, <laughs> like, tears throughout the entire theater. People were crying. She's like, I'm too good for short films. Well, it, it's not a Filipino <laughs> film unless someone's crying at least five times. It's a drama, the yeah. yeah. But this is the yeah. first time a Filipino filmmaker uh-huh. not only just opened with the gala, but the the closing night one, Empty really? by Design, is also Filipino. Oh, yeah. wow. She oh. was here at P- PWC for the last uh, Philam Creative Meeting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it yeah, almost yeah, never happens. So yeah. I, it, It's the first time. So it's a big night you did for say us. That. Yeah, I yeah. wish. I, yeah, I wish I could have gone. I was just so tired, <laughs> recovering from your wounds. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. And like I, when we did the Sunday event, I was just like, oh yeah, I was tanked, but <laughs> I was just pushing I through. I thought he was tank. You're losing. Well, I was. Yeah, ti- yes. I am tank. Okay. Nice. Anyway, I was so tired. I was just like, but I pushed through. But that never mind. I'll save that for later. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Yeah. Um, I I didn't do anything too special. Just caught up on stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I read things, more books. Um, I'm, uh, gosh, I don't even remember the title of the book right now, so I'm it's I'm completely useless. But I did catch up on like some um, podcasts that I was uh, that I guessed it on. So um, oh, we'll talk know. about that in a little bit. Um, but yeah. <laughs> That's all I did. That's that's I, I listened to podcasts and I ate food and crapped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are just... you sure about that last part? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Maybe. <laughs> um <laughs> Sorry, I, I wanted to do a shout out. I forgot to say that's I got I interviewed say. on the Hall H show. Oh nice. Aaron oh, right. Well Nabus, I think is how you say his last name. Did you guys get interviewed as well? Or no, no, I wasn't, to you I'm guys, a loser, right? so I'm not cool yeah, enough to get. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, no, I, I got interviewed yeah, I uh, because of the film that I'm doing. Oh, they, right. they support indie crea- content creators, and I plug. You better believe I plug <laughs> Tangy Gree. Shout yeah. out to you, Hall H Show. You guys are awesome. Um, so. Well, 
also like Strength and Gaming oh, yeah. interviewed Jen on oh, their hi, podcast. Oh, hi, Jen. Jen's by the not way. here today. We didn't say. Yeah, we Jen's didn't say. Jen's missing. She's she's Feeling come down with a. Right. Uh, she's got a bug. She's really right. sick. So I know. Yeah. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> she's got some deep internal sickness within her this very moment. So yeah. prayers out to Jen. <laughs> hope you feel better. Hope you feel yeah. better, man. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but you did strength in gaming. Yeah. So. No, 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 no. She, no. Jen, Jen, Jen did strength in gaming. gaming. Yeah. That came out today, I think. Right? Yes, I think so. I yeah. haven't had a chance to listen to that because so we'll have to talk about it next. Huge week. backlog. Yeah. Um, uh, a podcast I did a, f- a while ago. Actually, I just had a chance to listen to it um, this week, so I'm plugging it now. Um, I was on uh, Diverse Geeks in Focus, um, which Whoa, is that's a lot. Diverse yeah. Geeks in, in focus. focus. Okay. So. Uh, the host Gemma, and uh, it's put on by the Geek Say What Network. Um, I th- we talked about Geek fancast. What? Geek Say What. <laughs> say the, what? <laughs> we talked about fan casting and like working, mm-hmm. um, working on Tomb Raider and stuff. So um, that came out a couple weeks ago, but I just listened to it. It's a good episode, I think. So check that out. I guess we'll put all those in the show notes yeah. at some yeah. point. Yeah. Well, yeah. So far, and then I think you and I have done strength, strength and gaming. Right, and, and then, then Jen just did it. Jen just did it. They, so. uh, they sent me an email. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I will also be doing <laughs> right. in the near future when I respond to the email. Shout out. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, well, so this episode, we've got uh, a bunch of news from the geek universe. Things are happening. Things are moving in this post end game world. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, we're going to talk about um, Game of Thrones uh, season eight, episode four. Um, entitled, what is the title of this one? I think it's Starbucks? The Last of the Starks. The Last of the Starks, yeah. Something like that. The, the Last, Last of Star- the Starbucks. Star- Star- like <laughs> Last of the Starbucks. Oh, uh, man. And just a remember, um, remembrance, just a reminder, uh, send in those questions to the q and I actually don't have Twitch up right now because I don't know where my phone is. So if any, all right, awesome. Thank you so much. Um, who's ready for some news? Yeah. Not me. She's not ready. And not, not Caitlin. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Uh, so, first off, Willow TV show. Awesome. I just found out what this is. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just My now. young ass was <laughs> un- unacquainted with <laughs> right. some, apparently a Val Kilmer masterpiece yeah, from the 80s. Yeah, an absolute. Why don't you talk you about You are it? great. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just realized you stupid daikini. What, what's basically, up? Caitlin wasn't even born yet. <laughs> I was like, Probably. oh, like Will, Shut Willow's your getting face. her Willow's Probably, getting her right? spin off from Buffy. Right. Yeah, I don't think you were you, born yet. What, when yeah. did it come out? I want to say eighty nine ish, eighty eight, eighty nine, or is it nineties? I can't even remember. I wasn't alive in the eighties. Right. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was, was a fetus. I know. In eighty nine. Were... <laughs> <laughs> Throughout most of eighty nine. I, I was. I was barely alive too. <laughs> I was just yeah. being bored. <laughs> right. Well, you're like Actually, no, I was, already. I was like, I was already finishing college at that point. <laughs> oh <laughs> I was my getting God. my master's already. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, if you didn't know, Willow oh, was a movie that came out uh, in the 80s, um, uh, directed by Ron Howard, uh, produced by George Lucas, uh, tells the story of Willow Ufgood and him saving... Um, on his journey to save Aladdin. Uh, Aladdin. Aladdin? I thought mm. you said Aladdin for oh, a second. Aladdin. <laughs> like uh, gosh, I forgot, yeah. <laughs> uh, I forgot the kid's name. But <laughs> apparently um, you weren't that big a fan. No, apparently <laughs> not. Also, I'm getting old. Wait, wasn't so, the... Alora Dannon. Saving Alora Dannon. Oh, uh, that's or, right. Okay. Were you so Willow is the guy, right? Willow he, is, yeah. The Willow's wizard. The he wanted to be a wizard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The um, the little person. Um, the peck in, in the, in the yeah. world. So has it been, <laughs> yeah. it's already in pre-production or they've just announced it? Um, I think it's just a uh, rumor right now. Oh, it's just I, rumor. Yeah. I was going to say, can we watch it together? But that's probably not going to be for a while. Right. I'm yeah. down for it, though. Yeah, I'd I mean, be down. I'd totally uh, be down. I mean, I'm yeah, I'm curious to like to see the so CGI for it and all that stuff. 1988. 88 yeah. is when it came out. I wasn't Got around it. yet. I yeah. was barely a, a person. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was just an egg in my mother's <laughs> ovary. Nah. Yeah, in that case, I was getting my third master's. Right. <laughs> in Yale. <laughs> right. At Yale. At Harvard. <laughs> but, uh, so that, that's happening. Yeah, we don't know like what story it's going to tell. Um, we don't know if it's going to continue with Willow or like Mad Mardigan or Sarsha. Um, I don't know. It might even follow the book series, which actually continued after yeah. you know uh, Willow. The, the costume design for that was I thought that was, was really cool. It was pretty cool. Like, yeah, you should check it out. Just I, I actually really do want to check. Yeah, this out. the yeah. costume design. I watch it now. I gotta, yeah, General Kale. 
Yeah, the, 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 skull. the skull mask. Was yeah. it a show or a movie? It's movie. a movie. Okay, yeah. I want to check it out. And Val Kilmer was awesome. Though. Yeah, he I was like pretty, Val Kilmer. He was pretty like swashbuckler. Yeah, he's very roguish. Yeah. Like very. My favorite. Yeah, you are great. Since you liked uh, Strider. Oh, oh yes, yeah, I did. He's you got like, definitely do. those vibes. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. like okay. a little less uh, um, broody. Oh, less Errol grungy, less broody. Yeah. Okay, okay. Right. Um, well, speaking of stuff that's going crazy on the internet, um, the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog trailer just dropped. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Walter, you have something um, to say so about yeah, that. So the Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, <laughs> for all those folks who uh, played Sega back in the 90s, I believe. See, I did have a Sega Genesis. Well, yeah, so. Genesis yeah. from the 90s. And so yeah. Sonic yeah. was a uh, a video game back then. He ran around really fast, collected rings, and he had an uh, enemy. <laughs> I can't remember his Dr. Name. Robotnik. Dr. Robotnik, yeah. played by Jim Carrey in this movie. And... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jim um, Carrey's in it? Yeah, yeah. he's in oh, it. Wow. Dr. Robotnik. He's going to be the he's saving the race He's the <laughs> antagonist. And yeah. it's interesting. Like, the trailer was... Yeah, you know, like it's a video standard, uh, like fair, right? Yeah, although I would say it's like along the same tracks as the Mario Brothers, but might be like better production quality. I right. would say, I mean, say that. 10, Didn't the, 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 the Mario Brothers one tank? Yeah, it did. There's like, um, there's this thing in Hollywood where if you try to make a big Hollywood right, movie right. out of a video game, it's just not going to work out. Well, I mean, Assassin's part, Creed, doesn't. I'm looking at you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, but the. Tomb Raider was It okay. almost tanked right <laughs> off the. Tomb Raider! Oh, man. But, um, like. Yeah, it almost tanked just looking at the trailer because apparently really? the fans hated the way the design, they designed yeah. Sonic. Why? They designed him well, like a hipster. You. Well, it doesn't even show Aww. exactly. Yeah, but Kinda it's cute. when he's standing. The, there's one out there that they This hit. is actually a better, like, a kind of angle. This is a better one. But you yeah. can't tell by the way his legs are. It's like people went off on his legs because he looked like a guy wearing his skinny pajamas, jeans. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he looks hipster. Yeah, yeah he was, <laughs> it, they, turned, they turned Sonic into a hipster. Who, who plays the voice of Sonic? Uh, uh, guys that know? I don't know off the yeah. top of my head. This actually, I don't even know if this is the... Um, like an official thing, because I feel like this guy's eyes are bigger than the... Um, Might be well, the video game know. promo. Right, I don't know. Well, Does Sonic could, talk? Uh, in the movie? Yes. In the movie, yes. Yeah, okay, okay. In the cartoons he spoke Not as really. well. yeah. Yeah, and so, I, I mean, I, I don't know, I wasn't... I wasn't that much of a fan when it was out during the games. Or... Right, I was a Nintendo kid. Yeah, so. I mean, I was doing my PhD at that point. Uh, well, yeah, I did right. both. <laughs> <laughs> but, so, um, yeah. yeah, fans are pretty pissed off. That, that one shot of... Um, the teeth, I'm like, you know, a kind of mouth agape. Everybody's like harping on the teeth as well. But I mean, there was enough hoopla online that uh, there yeah. the studio supposedly is going back They're and gonna redesigning. Go yeah. I mean, that's that's great of them to actually listen to the fans and redesign it. Uh, and I'm, you know, that they should do that more often. But it's just kind of interesting that that's going to be a lot of money. That I mean, is. it reminds me of when uh, the Ghost in the Shell promos came out. Right. And there was a fan backlash, and then the studio was saying something like, we're going to go back and post and try to make Scarlett Johansson look more Asian. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, oh, no. please don't wait, make wait, it worse. Wait, wait, that's not the solution. That's not the, that's not the, that's not the same that's thing. Not, just, no. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. although, I like... bad for them, too. I was like, oh, my God, it sucks. Like, yeah. but, but kudos to Hellboy, <laughs> uh, the new one. The re- right. Like, you know, they... they Recasted uh, oh, DDK and put DDK in it. Yeah. Wait, who was it before? Oh, it was Ed Screen. Uh, Ed Screen. Yeah. And he was, but he was the one. Scrooge. 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 Dario Naharis. Da- yeah. Yeah. And, really but he was conscious yeah. enough to be like, yeah, that's it. Shouldn't be me. And he backed out. Yeah, because and... he's woke as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> like, he's cool. Yeah, good on him. Now there's no excuse. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's good on him. Um, and uh, well, we're right before this, uh, we were watching a few trailers, and uh, Caitlin, you watched the. Um, the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer. I did, yes. So Tom Holland is yeah. reprising his role as Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, I don't... Okay, so our stage manager is plugging up his ears because he hasn't seen Avengers yet. Endgame, yes. Endgame. Suck. So <laughs> I will briefly say that this movie takes, pla- takes, plas- takes place directly after Endgame in which... Spoiler, Tony Stark is dead. Okay. And, okay, Arnold, you're good. You can, Arnold can. When you say spoiler, Arnold. you should probably have a little more space in between. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you're good. You're good, Arnold. Instead of okay, like. Okay, he can keep me close. Instead of like okay. saying, spoiler. Anyways, blah, blah, blah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so Peter Parker, mourning the death of his mentor, takes a, a class field trip with his friends to Europe. Mm-hmm. Right. And I think he's like, he doesn't want to be part of it anymore. Right. He's like, Euro trip. He's not about that life yeah. no more. <laughs> yeah. Know. And then Nick Fury no time for that. meets up with him and he's like, hey, I need you to um, pair up with this other guy named Mysterio, played by. Uh, Donnie Darko. Yes. Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. By the Prince of Persia. Yeah, Prince of Persia yeah. to fight the elementals um, who are these people who have arrived from another dimension. Another dimension. Uh, or so he says. Right. So they say. I mean, yes. if this is you know truly what they say it is in the trailer, yeah. I mean, this is the beginning of the Marvel multiverse. You know? Yeah. So, so. You mean he, the beginning. You mean... Oh, like the well, beginning yeah. of the new, yeah. right? Well, or because the, they've them actually acknowledging it mm-hmm. that there are different uh, time. Well, because they've already kind of intro- softly introduced it in with Endgame. Spider-Man. Wait, well, no, not just that, but <gasps> Spider-Man oh, into yeah. the Spider-Verse. Like in the last Endgame, how there were multiple branches, branches of time, like mm-hmm. streams of time. Right, right. So, is this another stream of time? If, well, no, no. If Mysterio, because Mysterio is claiming to be from one of these. Yeah. Okay. So if it's then, true, then if yeah, it's true, this is the first time it's acknowledged in another film, other than okay. Spider Verse. Yeah, the, oh well, but so Spider Verse is the, the animated one. Mm-hmm. Spider Verse is an MCU was though. It's not. It's, it's, its not, thing. but it is. I mean, Sony made it, right? But it's around it's the weird. time. You don't, Anyways, I've been saying yeah, for like yeah. the past three minutes, like you don't have to do this anymore. Yeah, yeah I was we're like, done. Arnold, yeah, Arnold. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so our stage manager has finally unplugged his ears. Right. <laughs> after like wild gesticulation. Yeah. I literally gave like one line of spoiler, and that was it. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. What she said was that. <laughs> 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 um, so no, that the, so happened. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta look. But I think, because uh, Spider Verse, I feel like, was, you know, consulted with Marvel also. Right. So I feel like. That for the audience, they're already kind of introducing that, especially to the kids. Got it. Mm-hmm. And so when, yeah. so with this MCU one, they're introducing it. But again, it is Mysterio, right? So you don't know exactly if he's telling the truth. Just or not. for background, in the comics, Mysterio is a villain, mm-hmm. and uh, he doesn't have any superpowers, but he's like super. He's a magician. Advanced, yeah. yeah. Has um, the magic powers at at his at his uh, fingertips. So I mean, like. This could call into question um, Doctor Strange too, yeah. because yeah. he's supposed to be like protecting well, and the, the world. In the one. trailer, you know, like on the Thames, and I'm like, is that Hydro Man? You know, right? Like, that's when the first trailer dropped, right? I was because the same thing. yeah, because it's like the the creation of the, the well, not quite the Sinister Six, but right. the Elemental. I don't know, whatever. But yeah, if that is Hydro Man, that'd be kind of cool. And then if they're gonna have Sandman come in, right? Because we already had Vulture. <laughs> Um, although the, the last time you guys saw Sandman was in Spider-Man Three with Tobey Maguire, which was Fantastic. bit of a bit of a travesty, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah, it's sad. I mean, Thomas Hayden Church, Thomas was great. Church, I thought he was, was great. great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, the movie itself, but the storyline, it was just it was just too packed with stuff. Yeah, they were like, why did too we hard. need? Why didn't we need like five villains or however many we had in that one? Well, because they were trying to introduce the Sinister Six, right? Right, and the a Maximum Carnage storyline probably as well. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's just too much. Um, anyway, I I don't know. I think I'm down to watch. You know, yeah, Far From I'm, Home when I'm, it comes. Mm-hmm. I'm there. It's, what is it? July, I think. I I heard they uh, moved it up to yeah. June. Yeah, I don't know. But I and last article I saw. Yeah, yeah. So check on that. Either way, I am down. Um, our next point is uh, a little Game of Thrones inspired or uh, related. Um, Richard Madden, who plays um, my boyfriend, yeah, Rob Stark, Woo! who played Rob Stark, <laughs> is uh, rumored to be um, uh, in talks for MCU's uh, n- kind of next series, like outer space series, Eternals. Uh, the Eternals. And Walter, yeah. So Eternals is basically these group. Uh, well, they're like a collection of almost godlike beings in the Marvel universe. They were there in the beginning of time, and when you guys watch Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, and Doctor Strange, they kind of explain them, and you see glimpses of them. And well, the Celestials. And yeah, Celestials. Right. Not the Eternals. Oh, right. That's right. Oh no, no. But I thought <laughs> like they sort of explain. Oh well, yeah, yeah. But um, what's his name? The Collector, and um, Jeff Goldblum's character in they're Thor. Eternals. They're Eternals. Yeah. And so is Thanos. 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 Yes. Is Thanos an Eternal? So yeah, they're kind of like oh, they're pretty much demigods at this okay. point. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, and, and that's probably why a lot of people are saying like, "Oh, they're gonna get more backstory right. um, when they do the Eternals in Eternals movie." Mm. 
um, because I think I did. I read some interviews with the the Russo brothers where people were asking. They they had some cuts that explained Thanos that kind of like went onto his backstory, and they right. chose to leave it out of Which Endgame. Is pretty sad, actually. That's, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, unfortunate considering what a huge role he plays. In that <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, it's like I mean, his life is sad. Three hours. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, and oh, really? they, I'd like yeah. to learn more about Thanos. They basically yeah. explain yeah. like why he's kind of a sociopath. I mean, like, that would have been heart. great, you know. Which yeah. is like, why, but then it's like, oh, four-hour movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so yeah. it looks like they're it, from. It sounds like that's why they're doing the Eternals just to like explain more of mm. beings like him, the Collector, right. the Grandmaster, Grandmasters, the Jeff Goldblum's character, um, and Richard Madden's going to be one of them. Or he's in talks, oh, okay. you know, and then. Uh, Angelina Jolie is going to be one of them. Really? Right. Cersei. Cersei, yeah. So Wait, it's, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You mean Lena Heedy? No, no, no. no, no, no. So, no there's, a, there's an eternal name, oh, Cersei. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not Game of Thrones, Cersei. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, gotcha, gotcha. Angelina like, oh, Jolie yeah, will play a character yeah. right, 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 named right. Cersei. I was like, damn, okay. <laughs> who will be going through, the, especially she's fond of humans and going through various points of gotcha. history. Right. Et cetera, okay. et cetera. That's a lot of star power they're tapping. And I mean, I think they're already in that route because they got Benicia del Toro and right. Jeff, Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum. So I, like, uh, why it looks not like, yeah, it looks shit. like that's what they're trying to do, like right. get these star-studded casts. I mean, it's Marvel, you know. Basically, yeah. cameo appearances. Yeah, yeah. I'm still interested to see what story they're going to tell with the Eternals. Yeah, I want to yeah. see an Eternals movie where like there are no stars, no knowns, all unknowns, right. all indie actors, all just people off the street. Nah, Marvel's not gonna do that. Marvel's not gonna do that. Marvel's not gonna do that. That was Phase One, though, right? right? Like all those, yeah, all the actors. Then, people are, you know, I think the this... wire. Like no, no, no. That's yeah. that wasn't Phase One. That was like oh, uh, that's like <laughs> that's, that's, that was Sony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That but wasn't like, even Marvel. Uh, because like Tony Thor was a nobody. Yeah, Tom Holland was technically oh, not in anyone's yeah. radar. Um, Tom Hiddleston, Hiddleston was wasn't anybody either. There's actually this article that I guess like, so. yeah. that leaked. Um, I think it was either it was one of the um, the outlets like Variety or Deadline or mm-hmm. somebody. And um, I don't know if this uh, you know image is real, but it was a screenshot of uh, the announcement that they were playing um, Thor and Loki. And whoever wrote the article was like, like some random dude. Yeah, some random <laughs> dude. I hope they hope they're happy. Hope they do. They're yeah. successful with these nobodies, you know. <laughs> and you know, come you know, ten years later, they're they're, they're like massive. St- yeah, so a list stars. Right. I mean, yeah. I always uh, kind of prefer that, you know, like Me too. smaller, smaller. Because like, I mean, at the time, actors. Chris Hemsworth, uh, he real was Fox dad. I mean, uh, uh, Kirk's, Kirk's dad. dad. Yeah. And oh, he really? got yeah yeah, yeah that was he, I Trek. mean he was already a remember, big yeah. he was a kind of a star in Australia right okay. and so they were trying to like push him over here the agency yeah. whatever like the casting agency yeah and his first role in America was playing Captain Kirk's dad in the the re, the Star Trek yeah. reboot yeah he really he literally goes down with his ship and it's like yeah, it. yeah. And, like, and it's just really quick right. and, yeah. and I'm, I I got I think I've said this before uh, with other people but like his agent. Got to give him props because his agent did a good job in selling <laughs> this right. guy, yeah. hustling yeah. and yeah. pushing him because people were like, oh, he's got so much charisma. Blah, blah. Nah, F that. I think his <laughs> agent was like really good and got him in it, there. It's, you gotta it helps, man. PR, yeah. yeah. And it's like, look how good looking this guy is and got him in casted. But so, yeah. So that happened. Now he's a star. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, I, I hope that like Richard Madden like actually does go through with like getting cast or like that whole deal. He's goes proven through. himself as a right. more I just, than competent actor. Yeah, I just hope he does a better job than uh, Homeboy in Iron Fist. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, um, um, Renly Baratheon. Finn, not Renly. Finn Jones. Finn Jones. Yeah, not Renly. Uh, what, no, he what was, did he uh, play? Sir, again? Loris. Sir Loris. Loris. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Sorry. The Night of Flowers. Yeah, I heard yeah. that one tanked. Oh, st- I mean, royally. Uh, Beside uh, a lot of it was just like the choreo stuff. But he didn't come prepared. Yeah. Anyways, it's we're hard. going on a tangent. It's but hard like, when you like I know when you ha- you you set him against like um, Louis Tan and like you know and yeah. see them fight together. It's like oh okay. But I mean to me is like right. he didn't respect the material that he was getting casted for. Right. He didn't prepare himself. He didn't work out. He didn't study or research the material. Mm-hmm. I and think you to just me, need to stop being so salty. To me, that's the <laughs> just because he was the lead of this big show. And then they should have given it to Lewis Ten. Right. That would that's be awesome. Awesome. Right. Yeah. That's awesome. You know? That would be badass. But we, we're getting Shang Chi, so we'll see. There you go. Yeah. There you um, go. Uh, well, on to our main topics. <laughs> Guess what it is? Guess what happened this past weekend? Game of Thrones happened. What? 
Captain. Whether or not, wh- whether that's good or bad, we will find out. Uh-huh. <laughs> So, I mean, uh, kind of interesting thing happened before uh, we watched this past week's episode, weekend's episode. Um, uh, I know there's a fruit, <laughs> like fly a fruit flying fly. around us. Um, Rodney set up a a a, a dinner with um, Master Chef season nine, right? Yeah, season, season nine, nine. chef um, Ralph uh, Degala. So he cooked a goddamn. <laughs> that there's was all flute, up in my there's nose. There's a flute fly. A fruit um, fly. Uh, buzzing right next to our mouths. I know. We're trying not to swallow it. It's because you guys are so sweet. I know. So but, fruity. Uh, uh, Chef Ralph like set up a uh, Game of Thrones themed menu for mm-hmm. us. Um, and he cooked it right there. We helped him um, prepare and stuff. We have that all filmed. Um, it's going to be cool. Uh, oh, look at that photo. I know. So there, cool. there goes us Aww. at his house. Look at us. I know. Look so happy. Nice photo. Yeah. yeah. But... Uh, w- we have all the footage that's going to get edited c- together, and uh, we'll uh, post that on our YouTube sometime soon. Um, what did you guys? What did you think of the dinner? It was pretty awesome. It was great. I was rocking this Daenerys wig. Oh, it, it's not here. Uh, it's oh, not yeah, on there. Thank but. God. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the photos. Um, it was excellent. I, right. I thought it was a great idea to have this Game of Thrones food themed party, and you know some of the dishes that we. Ha- Am I allowed to say? Or I'm sure. Yeah. yeah right. We We're had. Cool. Did we post Sansa's it on our IG? We did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. We had Sansa's lemon cakes, which ended up being ball. like this, like right. almost like a cornbread sweet tasting muffin thing with lemon. lemon zest curd on top. Right, that was great. Holy crap! I died. It was so good. I had a like bit three of powdered of them. sugar on top. Yeah, it was like warm and crusty and firm and crisp Fluffy on the outside and filled with the filled curd with gooey gooey ooey sweet it was like a gusher but like gusher a, a <laughs> lemon shit on the inside <laughs> lemon shit i've that's, never that's used totally lemon shit. Yeah. And you and had everyone and then you said lemon shit and it just <laughs> dropped Look, you guys I'm making stuff on the spot. People here. were like, uh, people's mouth watering, like, Ooh, <laughs> lemon shit. So, like, a lemon, cu- <laughs> a, cu- a custardy lemon meringue, if you yeah. will, okay? Which Caitlin helped make. And I did. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. we had some of the hound's chicken, which was some, like, right. rosemary kind of infused chicken that Jen helped bake. And yeah. With some roasted and potatoes. Long, yeah. yeah. The, uh, what was the thing? It was like almost, uh, what is it? Lamb it was like chop. A, it was Lamb like a mountain. mashed potato thingy. Oh, oh, the polenta. Uh, polenta. Oh, my yeah. God. And then the pizza. Well, uh, what it was, was the braised, the was braised the lamb shank over a, pl- a bed of polenta. With mushrooms. And then the, the, the White King. Walker no, 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 it was spiral pizza. with. Was it the Night King's pizza? Or it was Something ne- like that. Ned, um, Ned, Ned, Ned Umber, Umber pizza. pizza. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, the spiral shape that you see the White Walker is oftentimes leaving behind right. was created with pepperoni and like vinaigrette. Pepperoni, yeah. 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 And that, <laughs> and that was the first time I ever good. made pizza. Like weird, right? Yeah, I helped I helped make the pizza, and that was the first time I've ever kneaded dough and right. like, made pizza from scratch. Yeah. That was pretty well, awesome. Yeah, it, it was like, you know, when you're like a kid, <laughs> right. you're like, time to cook, you know. Uh, so that was, I feel like we're missing some, the, the sangria, like Cersei's sangria. Sangria. Oh, yeah. sangria. Joffrey's sangria. Oh, Joffrey's sangria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I helped um, the prep on that. That was. Helped with the mise en place. You think about it, it was really fun. Yeah, it was tons of fun. And we Game of Thrones fun. right after. Right. We filled our, our bellies with, uh, with Game of Thrones fare. Yes. And then we filled our minds with that stuff. <laughs> Game, Game of Thrones fare. With Game of Thrones fare. Uh, we all, like, all of us, like, the whole part, the crew, right. the cast, the hosts. Yeah. We just, like, crowded onto this one big couch. Right. And watched the latest episode. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. thanks. Shout out to Ralph for yeah. allowing us into your home. And Michelle. And thank Michelle, you. Yeah. yes, thank you, helped me with my hair. You're right. Uh, l- allowing us into your home and letting us partake of this delicious Westerosi food. I know. Yeah. So we'll, we'll be l- releasing that pretty soon. Yes. So, watch out for it. Yeah. We'll s- we'll tweet out, um, you know, the release and all that. Yeah, that's all the food there on the table, as you can yeah. see. And uh, for fun little Caracara note. Caracara oranges. Caracara oranges. Caracara Caracara Caracara. oranges. That goblet that we have the sangria <laughs> in, like we couldn't <laughs> find a golden goblet on such short notice. So Jen went to a dollar store and found a cup and a candle holder and made that, you know, stuck those two together. Pretty amazing. Yeah, and then yeah, she yeah. was like bragging about it. <laughs> and I was I like, oh, I have goblets. Why didn't you guys <laughs> ask me? 
I was like, I'm hella goblins. I know. And, <laughs> and it was like crickets for a second. Jen's and was face like, was like, at me. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, dude, we put it on I the was slack. Like, I mean, no. it said for Jen, so I didn't know. Like, you should have said, Caitlin, do you have goblins? I would have brought my goblins. But they don't look as cool as that one. So right, it's fine. right. What was um, your favorite dish, you would say? The lemon cakes. The lemon cakes? Uh, yeah, so good. Yeah, Sansa's lemon, lemon cakes is pretty great. Right. We also had Filipino spaghetti. At the time. Oh, yeah? yeah. We yeah, did. Yeah. We had spaghetti as like an appetizer. Right, right. That was good. Uh, I, don't know that, was I don't know where that works into the Westeros seafood. It, the <laughs> Dothraki. I'm sure they had spaghetti there, yeah. <laughs> the Dothraki like the spaghetti. These are the guts and the brains that fall out of the Dothraki. That fell out of that, oh, that light, ca- yeah. light cavalry charge. Yeah. <laughs> There's a Dothraki there. Did you eat? Light cavalry charge. I needed, <sighs> yeah, I needed that cavalry? spaghetti. Calvary? Yeah. <laughs> cavalry? Cavalry. Cavalry. Okay, did, did I say Calvary? No, it's cavalry. Calvary, I, cavalry. is some Christian thing. <laughs> I know. Wait, did, what did I say? <laughs> I heard calvary. Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> I heard something else. <laughs> Light cavalry. Roll the playback. Cavalry. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, well, let's let's go into that episode. Let's go into season four. I mean, season eight, episode four, The Last of the Starks. Um, yes. So a quick synopsis of the uh, the episode. It starts off um, in the aftermath of the Battle of Winterfell. Um, John is giving a speech, uh, speaking over uh, the bodies of several people that um, wonderful that we speech. Yeah, wonderful speech um, uh, over the funeral p- uh, pyres of uh, a lot of people: Jora, Lyanna, um, Theon. Uh, Theon, and we see these very personal moments with like all the characters, which was great. And then after that, we uh, we move to a scene filled with revelry. Um, there's um, it's comedy hour. Everybody's like hooking up, and uh, you know, kind of resting, semi resting for the battle in preparations for um, marching on King's Landing. Um, uh, the 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 army splits up. Um, Daenerys and uh, her fleet uh, go to Dragonstone, while John heads straight to. Uh, uh, well, it's supposed to head straight to King's Landing. Um, they're ambushed um, en route to Dragonstone. We um, lose Rhaegal. He gets shot out of the sky. Um, Missande uh, gets captured. Then we move forward to King's Landing, and we have that scene, the standoff. That is really a standoff. Um, and uh, things go sour pretty quickly. So um, what did you think of the episode, everyone? Oof. You forgot the awarding the. Um, oh yeah, yeah. G- Gendry gets um, awarded. Um, he's like a he's a lord of. Uh, yeah, Storm's End. Of Storm's End. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the Baratheon house uh, seat, and uh, he proposes to Arya, who's like, <laughs> "Hell nah." <laughs> and then she She's goes like, off. I'm not. I'm not trying to get booed up. Right. right. <laughs> like, I'm me. going with the hound. <laughs> To kill some more. Yeah, I actually, but list. I do like that turn of events. Oh, I love it. I feel like it. that actually. Yeah, that felt kind of right. like that felt right. for once. Yeah, something in a world right. of shit that fell <laughs> down for the past several seasons, <laughs> that felt right actually to me. It felt no. The, it, it felt like I mean that that's yeah. who she is. Right. I mean, I feel bad for for uh, for Gendry, Gendry. but. Hmm. He should have known. So many things he should have that known. are happening in right. this season. That's like I, I would have been down if it had just been um, not rushed. So right, much. right. I get that. Uh, this one I liked. Are we going to start with the things we did like? Is that how we're going to well, do it? Like yeah, highlights let's, let's do this. Yeah. Let's. We're going to talk about highs first. Okay. Uh, we'll go round robin. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> Walter. Uh, what did, uh, wait, wait, before we get into yeah, that, okay, can yeah, we yeah. address like Coffee Gate or something? Yeah, let's address <laughs> Coffee like, Gate. Starbucks Gate. <laughs> um, so if if you I didn't been, get it for the longest time, I, I was know. like, what, are, what is this coffee? Starbucks joke? What's going on? If you haven't been on the internet for the past three <laughs> like, days yeah. or two days, um, apparently uh, in the the revelry scene when, when Daenerys is watching John like being um, celebrated by all the Northerners. Uh, there's a there's a uh, shot where you can see very clearly see a cup a coffee cup sitting on the table, um, and apparently that got through it's all got the white it's little. It's, it's got the white little Starbucks. Lid. I think Starbucks. Starbucks. Yeah. yeah. So th- that got through all last looks yeah. through like, <laughs> like through post through post through, like, yeah everyone, everything <laughs> everyone yeah. yeah through producers <laughs> FX people yeah. it got through everybody literally yeah <laughs> <laughs> and it ended up on an HBO screen can't believe it and the internet is going wild. 
But well, how um, do we know that Starbucks didn't open up a chain in Westeros? Yeah, like, for we real. don't know this was in yeah. the past. For exactly. all we know, what if it's, a, like what right if it's an early Starbucks? Yeah, yeah. exactly. I Stark think it's. Bucks, I think it's. A, Bucks. It's. Yeah. It's at the last hearth. That's where I would put a Starbucks. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Stark. I they mean, it's a perfect place for a Stark. Ho- exactly. Stark yeah. bucks. Stark bucks. <laughs> Stark bucks. Also, uh, th- it also lends uh, credence to the theory that Varys is a merman. <laughs> Yeah. What? Very, because is a the merman. Starbucks uh, has a mermaid symbol is a mermaid? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, is that an actual theory? Yeah, that's an actual theory. That's a theory that Varys is, is a merman. Yeah. Because he's a eunuch. No, no, no. I forgot what the... the uh, Do they even have merman, mermen? In... Because of the whole magic thing? Or I'm what? not exactly sure. I just, they, I've they heard really about it. They really did go into his background. They always hint right. at it, but they never told the whole story. Well, so... I'll, I'll, I'll uh, email it out to you guys when I find Perfect. the link. Maybe it'll be in the spinoff. Right, right. And I mean, the merman. This it gets further reinforced later when he uh, he survives the the uh, sinking of the ship, <laughs> and it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, oh, um, yeah, I know he's completely dry. You just see like these gills, like, uh, kind of, like he, ri- he in, rides like, a on a dolphin. From, fuck, dolphin from, drops like, him off. Oh my <laughs> <God>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he waves him off. Oh, that's <laughs> Jason good. Momoa is back as, as, uh, as Aquaman in the background. <laughs> um, Yo, oh, that's good. Anyways, highlights. <laughs> okay, highlights. highlights. To get that out Whoever of wants way. to start, who's got a highlight? Uh, I'll let you start. Uh, you know, okay, so I haven't been saying the most shining of praises. Mm-hmm. I haven't been singing praises for this show in a while. Right. But I will say the opening sequence to this episode, Great. the funeral scene where everybody yep. is paying tribute to those who died. Mm-hmm. That's as good as I've ever seen on Game of Thrones. Oh, that, yeah. that's, that belongs up there with right. seasons one through four. My God. Like, um, I love, like, the music. Right. You know, a, as many digs as I take on the storyline nowadays, you have to admit the music of Game of Thrones is still yeah. A1. Ramin Jawadi you know, is... Keeping it 100. <sighs> yeah, he's So great. the music was great. Um the fact that they got all these different characters who had a connection mm-hmm. with the characters right. who died. Opening that scene on Jorah's dead body and Daenerys weeping over him yeah. actually made me forgive the lackluster <laughs> when he died in the last episode. <laughs> right. And it was and then the smoke billowing the fact that they, you know, they lit all these pyres. Right. And then John's speech to mm-hmm. conclude it all. Oh, uh, it was such a good speech. That's that's the Game of Thrones yeah. I love. Yeah. You know, that was well done. That was epic. Yeah, it was I don't very know what epic. you guys think. I totally agree with you. I thought that was an awesome well opening. Done. Yeah. You just made me think of something. I, I don't recall seeing the red witch's body, body on that pyre <laughs> i think she she kind of she disintegrated, like disintegrated yeah. yeah did she just do a thanos like snap I, like yeah i thought she just fell on the snow i assumed I that she, she like did, yeah disintegrated. she, she kind of disintegrated because there's the Cause necklace she's so left old because she's yeah. so old she just i guess yeah or yeah. I, I i in my head the assumption was that the, lo- the lord of light was keeping like, her together her, yeah, yeah exactly because i remember them talking about it like he just said like yeah she killed herself like right yeah. but yeah. yeah okay anyway so Okay, fine. <laughs> I'll watch it again later. Like, see. But um, my top moment, and this might not be a popular one. <laughs> That's, yeah, People might that. hate me on this, but... Uh, <laughs> You're going to say Jamie and Brienne. Her getting... Brienne getting left by Jamie. Oh, <laughs> wait, that was a highlight? That was a highlight for you? <laughs> what? Was That's funny. my highlight because funny. for all the homeboys, you know, like, poor one for the homeboys who got rejected by girls because they went oh with the... Oh, my God. They went with the wow. posh... Good looking, go dude. There? Yeah, I want to go that was there. Your highlight. That was my happy. Like, that yeah, you should. I was like, you should have gone oh with Tormund. He had the personality. All right, but no, you chose not to go with the personality and the funny guy. Uh, look, Tormund. Tormund. She went. She went for the rich guy. She went for the rich guy. Yeah, she went for the good looking oh rich guy. Oh my god. Tormin was loyal. He was taking care you of her. Guys are loved being her. Such dudes right he would have sucked the milk out of her tit. That's what he would have done. Like this is the guy who who brags about fucking a bear. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> who's to say they would have been happy? She wouldn't have enjoyed. He would have loved her. Yeah, but she don't. Wouldn't he have loved have, him. He would have provided for. Yeah, that's and that's the there way you the go. World goes. And you go love Jamie. No, that's, that's what not, you get. That's not how that works. <laughs> oh my god. I, I, I feel told, like there's a lot of memories just 
bad memories being brought up here right now. No, I'm not bitter. A lot of bitterness. A lot I of think bitterness. Walter's just a bit of a bitter bear right now. I know. So. I know. <laughs> So that's why he, he enjoyed that scene. What a highlight. Her yeah. acting was good, though. He, like, she, was she was great. She, I, oh, yeah, when she was standing why, there. Yeah, I felt more for Brienne being rejected by Jamie Lannister than Daenerys seeing one of her children die. Again. <laughs> like, it's she's a great so actress. weird. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's, she's great. She's, she's awesome. I'm Somebody uh, posted this on yeah. a Twitter earlier today, and it, um, it was just um, Brienne of Tarth next to a pinhead. A pinhead? What? From Hellraiser. Uh-huh. And they were like, I would watch this. Like if she had got cast as Pinhead, I would I would watch the fuck out of that. Gwendolyn okay. Christie? Yeah, okay. dude. I would watch the shit out of that. Because she's badass. I would okay. love to see her as Pinhead from Hellraiser. But Pinhead has no range. Yeah, but they could change that shit. The Cenobites? Come on. I don't know. I'm excited for that shit. I just like her. I mean, all I say is Star Wars needs to take the fucking mask Star off Wars? her. What's wrong Star Wars? with you guys? Star Wars he, needs to take the mask off on him, Earl. I know. Oh, needs to God. take the mask off her, Changing like the world. make use oh. of her acting ability. <laughs> I know, dude. All right, come on. Star Wars done did her wrong. Yeah, I was gonna say her character in Star Wars. Star yeah. Wars. Phasma. Phasma, like that was just fan service. Like, oh, let's get Brienne of Tarth to play right. this. And she just wears a and chrome. She, yeah. Again. She says like. Two, done, three lines. Did her she wrong. gets done in in the last movie in a stupid way. I mean, we're <laughs> yeah. not no sure she's dead, it. but right. I, I hope mean, they, I don't really. Well, I hope another, she comes back. That's but. another can of worms. Well, um, my we kind of mentioned my high for the episode already, and it's um, the the Hound and Arya Roadshow. I did I'm, like that. Yeah, I'm 100 yeah. percent on board for this because that was like. That was one of my favorite um, story arcs. In, oh, yeah, um, when they traveled yeah. together. Uh, yeah, that, that was, when was they, great. Back when they had like a realistic rendering of time. Yeah. <laughs> they, you notice they <laughs> No tra- jetpacking? Yeah, it's hard. They were wandering the countryside for like two seasons. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, they, I, now they only got two episodes left. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's, it, it made it's up a little for their jarring. sloppy reunion. To me. Their reunion was like kind of anticlimactic. Are you talking about the very first one? The, the uh, Arya and the Hound, they meet again like when Gendry is like, they're like in the smithy, the blacksmith right, room. Yeah, and it's yeah, just yeah. kind of oh, awkward. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, mm, I didn't really buy that reunion. But right. them ganging back up together and going down to to King's Landing. I buy I that. Think, I buy I that. still got to yeah. kill someone. That's, That's I think, and the, uh, it's also high for me because it's like, it, uh, further increases the chance for some Clegane Bowl. Clegane Bowl. Clegane Bowl will get hyped. Although now, I don't know if Clegane Bowl is going to happen. With it's going to be. It's, it might be a uh, Grey Worm versus it could be Grey Worm, which the I Mountain. Would, I would let that happen. Man. I think uh, if that happens, then Grey Worm's going to lose, and then Ooh. the Hound will take over. I mean, Grey Worm, I think, is going to be just as equal of a fighter as uh, um, Oberyn. Oberyn. Yeah. Speed and agility, yeah. it just yeah. gray worm, so. gray worm yeah. won't uh, boast won't and celebrate around his like body. An idiot, yeah. yeah. Oh, the moment you monologue, you're <laughs> you dead. Know, you know he's dead. You're yeah. just dead. Oh god! Did I ever tell you what was going through my mind in that moment? No, because no. my dad had read the books already, right. and he said something like, "Oh yeah, someone's gonna go blind," referring to Arya. <laughs> but I said, "No, no, no, spoiler." Right. Okay, so I watched that happen. Uh, he's crushed on the ground. Yeah, uh, the mountain. Pokes his eyes, mm-hmm. right? And I was like, "Oh, it's Oberyn who goes blind." Okay, gotcha. And then he just keeps going. I was yeah. like, "Oh, dang, he's, <laughs> he's gonna get really blind." Yeah, that's hella like, blind. Then the, he starts digging deeper. I was like, "Oh man, he's gonna be severely deformed <laughs> <laughs> for the rest of the show." Like, I still wasn't. It still wasn't didn't, didn't processing. Sink in, didn't sink and in. then pop! I was like, "Ah!" <laughs> like uh, his wife or his lover's reaction. Right, was, that was my yeah. reaction. <laughs> I was so messed up by that. Yeah, like, yeah, I was like, "Oh my god!" Wasn't expecting that. I wrote a blog about that episode, and yeah. like, I actually a butt blog. A, yeah, butt blog. <laughs> wow. I wrote a blog about that episode, but I was, I was, uh, I, I was trying to find um, whether or not it was actually possible to crush somebody's head with your bare hands. Well, is it? Yes, but he's that strong. If you're yeah. that big and that strong, if you're that big, that strong, it only takes something like 500 pounds of force, which is not a ton, uh-huh. considering how much the mountain weighs and and uh-huh. in like brigadine armor. So, uh-huh, uh-huh. yeah, and, and they might not have had you know drank a lot of calcium. Yeah, right. Back yeah, yeah. in you know the southern yeah, they yeah. might have weak bones. Those right. Dornishmen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so <laughs> let's let's flip the script a little bit. Um, what were your lows for this episode? Some of your lows. I can I can we tell you the one. We only went through three highs. Oh, <laughs> like, are we I really going to go into this now? I, I, I have one. Yeah, I have. I, I have a few lows. 
I the one few. that sticks out to me and yeah. will forever like haunt me is God damn it, Jon Snow, pet your dog. <laughs> yeah, that's one. <laughs> pet you. your Not, fucking yeah, dog. Yeah. God damn it. Ghost has been with you from the beginning. Yeah, he, he literally started the show yeah. Yeah. with Ghost. Yeah. Like, I, yeah. yeah, I couldn't understand like why he couldn't be like, I mean, just say goodbye, go, or say something, something. to him. Like, <laughs> pet him. Pet him quickly as you get on the horse. Yeah, I don't know. Like, <laughs> if I find out that like it, it's it was a budgetary thing, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. That's yeah. I, I just draw the line. Yeah, it's like He's, you guys couldn't just get a someone with a uh, a husky or whatever, like a wolf, <laughs> right? And just do a perspective shot at least pretend he's petting I, I don't know. know if it was yeah. a if shitty like if it costs like, too much to see bad I just, mat, like bad keying I would have been like cool uh, whatever we got it though <laughs> yeah I don't know oh my gosh man like you couldn't pet your damn dog I yeah. know yeah and that was immediately followed by Tormund being like well I'm going now <laughs> like me and right. the wildlings are going back up north and I was like so that's their storyline I like, know they, they're just like utterly useless take now take ghost with you yeah <laughs> Yeah, they brought Ghost back. He might as well have died. Yeah, you exactly. Know? Why was he here? Give him a hero's it, death. That was like the shittiest fan service ever, ever you know. Yeah. Um, here's Ghost. Oh, bye, Ghost. Yeah. Thanks, man. Speaking of bringing back instead of just having killed off, right? the dragon. Rhaegal, that was Rhaegal. Why didn't Rhaegal, why didn't Rhaegal just die in the last battle? Just so he can yeah. die in this battle. But, but hold on. <laughs> let's unpack this a bit. Let's, yeah, yeah, let's absolutely. Let's unpack this a bit. So, so Daenerys... Goes and flies with her two dragons. Right. Um, open sea. Open sea. Now, imagine she's like an airplane. She right. should have an aerial view of everything below her for like hundreds and hundreds and thousands of feet. <laughs> yeah. Somehow, there's right. like apparently a rock that juts out to the side of the world. Yeah. And she does not see Euron's fleet on the other side of her it. Her entire. Yeah. His entire fleet. His entire fleet. And apparently, no one scouts in Daenerys' army. Yeah, yeah. So. Ever. So well. that happened. They um, com- they just commit full force yeah, like right yeah, off the bat yeah. every time. I mean, I will say that there are off. islands like that where there's a giant like hill like or a gi- right. giant mountain that just protrudes out. They're all in the Philippines, uh, Southeast Asia, yeah. yeah. But even if you're in an um, airplane, that you wouldn't be able to go around and see. Well, at the of, height that they were in, like yeah. it's not like they're super high. Okay, like an so airplane, she wasn't like, an airplane, but they're but, high. But <laughs> yeah, I'll give that suspension of disbelief that okay. it was blocked. From Daenerys' point of view. Okay, all right. you know what? I'm willing to accept that too. From um, what's the dragon's name? The one who went down. Rhaegal. Um, Rhaegal? From Rhaegal's yeah. view, he probably did see it, but because he didn't have a rider with him, yeah, he wasn't paying attention. He doesn't know that threat. Right. That, that's why it's like to me, it's Daenerys' fault for not letting John ride. He could have. She could have easily let John ride well, that I too. Well, I think it was also supposed to symbolize their strained relationship. Now he's not riding with her. Well, no, and yeah, result, she, she and she was dragon. like, oh yeah, yeah. you're. He needs a rest. And that's why even um, Tormund was like, what are you talking about? You're yeah. like a flea on his back. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. it's her being petty. And her pettiness caused Rhaegal's death, in my in my point of view. I mean, but don't you have to agree it was pretty rushed, wasn't it? Like, it kind of just came out of nowhere. In general. Like, I mean, yeah, surprise-wise, it worked because it surprised right. all of us who was watching yeah, we were it. Just like- and But I do get, like, they were hiding and that was an ambush. They were hiding in that, like, uh, little... Whatever, it's like a right. cove or some yeah. shit. I don't know. But my my main gripe actually is, uh, like, what did that add to the story? Well, uh, I'll Nothing. tell you what it added. Oh. They weakened Daenerys's forces by yeah. killing a dragon. I mean, so they needed that. And it's know. just to it. Add, I guess it adds to the story with her. Yeah, like losing her one, more, lose one more, her right. being one a uh, little more angry, and then strengthening the power and like showing the technology that. Um, Cersei has now, yeah, with the new and improved scorpions. But before right. we even get into the scorpions, why couldn't Daenerys have just gone up? Well, he, yeah. So here now, this is my low point. Yeah, right, right, right. This is my low point, which yeah. is my low point is the my annoyance point yeah. with this whole this, whole this scene. that whole part the that whole yeah. scene. Yeah, that, that. like. She just flies away. I'm like, you're on a freaking <laughs> dragon. dragon. Well, first, and like, there was no, the and then hell? I saw in the picture, there's no one behind yeah, them. Yeah, no, and they can't like, turn they're, fast enough. They're, yeah. they're All the ships are stuck facing in a one little, place. Yeah, they're in one a way. little alley of like body of water between yeah. stuck between two lands that they can't go because they can't they'll, go around. They'll, right. Yeah, they they're gonna maneuver. get beached on this these two islands. So I'm mm-hmm. like, you literally can just come around and decimate and get your revenge right there and then and destroy. Uh, but plot armor, Fion. Walter. Po- plot armor. Well, first of they all, need Euron to win. She she flies straight at Euron's Euron, ship, yeah. Yeah. like twelve o'clock, straight at it, 
and like charges or something? Is, is she playing chicken, dragon chicken? What's I don't going on? Know. And um, it, for no reason, then she breaks off after the first. Uh, also, Euron is he's he is amazingly accurate by like a hundred, you know, yeah, hundreds I mean, of yards. I mean, he's, yeah, he's been. I guess he's been. Prac- I guess he's been yeah. practicing. On what? It's not like there's other dragons to practice <laughs> right, no. on. Like three missiles in succession. I know. Maybe, three in succession. Maybe he shoots. Like, maybe he shoots at ships. On I don't know. No, but. <laughs> man, like, all right. So you guys know what Deus Ex Machina is, right? Yeah, Somebody God comes from in the at the last second to save the day. I feel like this is like the opposite. It's like someone comes in to fuck up the day at the right, last second. Right. I feel on. like that's what these scorpions are. They're like the uh, uh, D&D were like, okay, well, how are we going to defeat the dragons? Right. Let's um, let's have Kyburn make some kind of weird contraption. It's like a bazooka for dragons. Yeah, yeah. And let's introduce it at the very last second. Giant crossbow. That's what I, yeah, like... Like, well, I mean, they've already been building this up say, like, since the mm, last season. Season seven. Yeah. yeah like, seven. Uh, she's already. Ca- she's yeah. already. Yeah, too late. She's already. Um, when, well, no, but Cersei, when Cersei found out about the dragons, yeah. she told uh, Kyburn to develop something that I might mean, take him down. And, and they knew that the dragons were weak to spears or yeah. that kind because of the from what the intel they got from the from, the from stadium season 5 yeah in marine um, and then there's the night king you know who can throw his like ice spear and then kill well she didn't know anything about that she but, just but knew he that he has an audience yeah, though, but, but like they're weak to projectiles right but for me like Whack. that dragon dying kind of Smog out of nowhere smog would have fucking tanked that fucking arrow yeah like <laughs> i don't know it, it, i mean the dragons are characters too, okay? To like, me, the more. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. if Theon just died, or like, if you take a big character and you just like randomly die like that, you'd be like, what? Why is no, it okay absolutely. for the dragon to randomly die like that? You right. Know? So, yeah. And I mean, to me, it, it felt it, cheap. It felt it, cheap. From yeah. the beginning, it felt cheap. cheap. When and it happened, the, I was like, oh, shock. And I was like, why did what? that happen? Yeah, though? like, why did that happen? I would say the, the bigger suspension of disbelief was like how those arrows uh, decimated those ships, the ships at the dis- that distance. That, and, yeah, like, that's like, and it's not even like. You know, the tra- and I guess this is me like m- putting math and physics well, into it. Like, there's gonna the be trajectory, a drop. And, like, yeah. drop you that should have gone, yeah. gone yeah. right into the water. Yeah. Right. Like, after 500 meters or 1,000 meters. We should like, calculate because <laughs> this it's an, it's an easy calculation. The weight of that wood, weight and of the, the wood. Yeah, like, metal, out, and the, me- uh, the spearhead. Yeah. yeah, we could do it. Wait, hold on. Which part are you talking about? You're talking about after they, they killed the dragon, the yeah. and she took off, and then they said this I did to aim at the ships, and they all went like level, and they just shot it. Yeah. As opposed to what? Like arcing it. As opposed to arcing it, like uh, the way archers would arc something. Oh, I see. And then okay, like yeah. project like so Angry Birds saying, that shit. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't have destroyed the ships? The no, way because it you, yeah, gravity force, takes place. Right. Yeah. No matter how, the there's no arrow that will like, you would have to like really pull that it arrow would have back like a lot of force, and to like launch in that lot thing of at the distance that, that they had. The that weight wood, of the arrowhead the and the wood and the quill. It wouldn't would, hit that would, hard. If gravity will eventually pull it and it'll go into the water. Ah, uh, okay. As opposed but to arcing it, which will arcing it, you'll force to. Yeah, that's why that's why archers arc it. Yeah. To land to get to their target. To get distance. Yeah. To get distance. Well, it's yeah. whereas you it's like there on set, Walter. Advice. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. Like, yeah. but, uh, to me, I was like that and. And her, Daenerys not coming around and coming behind. <laughs> I remember and what was happening. Walter kept saying, "Why don't you go around? Go around. <laughs> I know. Why don't you go around? Go around. There's nobody. I know. Yeah. There's nobody behind You're on, them. Yeah, and you could have just gotten your revenge on Euron's fleet right there oh, and then. Man. Yeah. Oh, but instead, you fly off and you just fuck off. Do and whatever. Leave the rest of your and fleet. Yeah. To get destroyed. To get this yeah. decimated. How? Yeah, she just pounced. Too. Yeah, she bounced. She like, said, "Fuck it." How are yeah. you gonna? Yeah, and and <laughs> cause Miss Sunday to get captured. Captured. Yeah. So yeah, again, her fault. You know, and s- yeah. wait, whose low was that? Was that your low? That was, that my, was my low. low. That was your low. Oh, no, your low? my low was the, her not coming around and oh, destroying the fleet. Like oh. how stupid but was that? But there's more lows to go through. <laughs> I know. There's you know, so many I lows. feel. I, I mean, I should like, say, yeah, Miss Sunday getting. Can we? Okay, that's that's awesome. low. Because I feel like there's still some highs that I haven't seen. Okay, let's, yeah, like, let's get it. Give like, me a okay, high. Okay, so three, lo- high. three highs, three lows. Let's do three more highs. Hi-ho, hi-ho. All right, you go. You go with a high. Another thing I go with like. a high? I don't yeah. think I have one. Oh, come on, I'm just Earl, kidding. There's something you must <laughs> have liked. Finding out there's um, a Starbucks is a high. A Starbucks. <laughs> that was great. Uh, let's see. Um, actually, I do have one. Um, okay. Even though the circumstances surrounding it are like, I, I'm not all the way uh, on board with, mm. Seeing Tyrion and Varys kind of plot together 
is fucking great. Mm. Yeah. I love that. Two of like that was like old Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah it was like, so good. Them chills. just talking like um um you know strategy that it reminds you of Marine and like just. You know, it's almost like little finger and Varys right. talking. Right, exactly. Remember when? Uh, I love this part where you know Varys is like, "I've served many tyrants, right. and they all believe they're destined for the throne." Mm-hmm. And I'm like, "What a real world parallel too." That's right. how people take right. power. They're like, "It belongs to me." Absolutely. And Tyrion says, Manifest "If destiny. you walked into a fire." With three stones, and you came out alive with, with three, three dragons, dragons. Wouldn't you believe you were destined for the throne too? Mm-hmm. And it makes sense. And it makes total sense. I'm like, that's why she's so cocky, right. because th- she believes in destiny. Well, you and know? her brother has like even before she, you know, killed them, like has been kind of feeding her. Yeah, feeding right. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, like like this it's, is what it's we deserve. Our, it's, it's our ours. It's ours. Yeah, we it's are the lord of dragons. Yeah. yeah, we're entitled. Right. Yeah, <laughs> so I liked that. It Crown was, like, for a king. <laughs> yeah, but it was cool because there was also some like mysterious, like secret plotting stuff. Oh, it's great. It was like some like Julius Caesar. Uh, I mean, shit, at the same, like, yeah. should we kill her? I'm just wondering right. if Varys will, if the what uh, he's going to go through, if he's like, gonna, what he's going to well, do. Well, yeah, or if uh, what's his name is going to snitch on him and Tyrion. Tyrion. Tyrion's going to snitch. Why is Tyrion? Why does he keep protecting? Like, why does? Why is he so? Why is he backing up Daenerys? Like, what is? Is he in love with her? What's going on? I mean, like, he's. It maybe, doesn't seem like Tyrion to do that. Either, yeah, it's true. It's I mean, weird. Ma- it kind of doesn't. It track, doesn't does feel it? like Tyrion. Yeah. Either, like, well, yeah, either because he's changed and he's really loyal to her, or there's some he's plotting something with Cersei, like because remember, or the like, writers just didn't when know Cersei was like, Whoa. "I'll do this in under one condition." Well, then again, she never f- fell through. She she, she never, never went through yeah, with that, yeah, so she through this, he so. shouldn't be. I, I feel like I get the feeling that Tyrion genuinely likes Daenerys and is like he's back he's loyal to her, but I don't know why, because right. Tyrion's not his character trait. It's not, he's not known for loyalty. Right. He's doing what he feels is right. Right. Very similar to Varys. Mm-hmm. And I love how they stuck true to Varys's character till the end. He's, he's like, like, it's all about the constant. He, he protects. Yeah, he's constant. he's yeah. there to protect the well, realm of men. Nah. So is John, but John's constant in his like. Like in a bad way. <laughs> yeah, like his his honor. Um, is while well, very honorable and yeah. very it, it's he does not play the game. No, he doesn't. Um, so. And that moves me to the next part that I like a high, uh-huh. and I feel like this is George R. R. Martin. He, I like that John. You know, he's repeating his father's mistakes. I love it. Yeah, he's he's. Uh, they may be stupid decisions. Yeah, but. he's he's putting, you know, family honor before right. everything else. He's not he. To this day, he doesn't know how to play the Game of Thrones. No. I get it. I also feel bad if I'm keeping a secret from right. someone who's close to me. Yeah. And by golly, if I were John, maybe I would have made the same stupid decision too. But when you're yeah. on the outside and you're watching how catastrophic this could be, there right. will be a Targaryen Stark war because there's been competing factions. Well, that's that's like, you know, that's dramatic irony because yeah. he doesn't And his father yeah. died for or his uncle or whatever, his adoptive father died right. for the same reason. There another promise was made by a sibling, a sister. In this case, he's saying promise me just like right. his mother. Take care of him, yeah. Yeah, told his uncle promise me. Right. And and, and of course, you know, true to life, the, it does not get kept a secret. Yep. There's a moment where Sansa's like standing at the castle and then Tyrion comes up to her and she's like, <laughs> she's looking at Daenerys like, why her? Why her? Right. That's and then you can see like the camera too. stays on her and she's like trying so hard not to tell the secret. <laughs> well, she's like, she's, she's doing the math in her head too. Yeah. She's like, yeah. 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 Like, she's like, should I tell him? And she was like, okay. <laughs> but you know what I feel like? I feel like if this was a previous episode, a previous season, right. this whole secret thing would have lasted longer. We would have gotten like It would have been like stretched right. out over several episodes. Right. Because it's Endgame, they're like, just have it, do it right now. Just have it, yeah, right. It's uh, like but that was points. satisfying for me. I liked it. I liked it. I liked, I liked it, it a lot. lot. I liked it a lot. And uh, Daenerys having her crazy eyes. Oh, like, while right. she's getting jealous. Oh, yeah. And then she tells him, the, I'm, uh, I've never done this before. I'm literally begging you, don't say anything. That was nuts. Yeah. And, and to intense, know she's man. um she's corrupted by power. She doesn't want to share. Right. At all. Know? I mean, that we knew that was going to happen. I mean, yeah. if, I guess if, if I, the secret came out. When I yeah, was right. younger and more naive, yeah. people would ask me, who do you think is going to end up on the Iron Throne? And right. I would say, I think Daenerys and Jon are going to have like an alliance. <laughs> and they're going to rule together. Right. But now that we know Daenerys is having a villain arc... We know how big-headed she is, and then right. we know the idea that John's in love with her and doesn't want the throne. Yeah, that's not going to happen. 
Uh, it's not going to. And his yeah. honor is like gonna. His and it's, fucking yeah, hell and I mean, tell. Yeah. stupid thing about John is that he still does, doesn't understand. Like, yeah, you don't want the throne, but you still don't have the choice. You're still run right. by uh-huh. the people. Right. Yeah. By the so north. Naive, you know? And that's always yeah. been him. Freaking the Night's Watch. He's the reluctant the north, leader. Right. He doesn't want, but that's kind of probably what makes him a good leader. Right. Because, yeah. well, I mean, it's. He's not power yeah, hungry. But it's like, but at the same time, it's like, when are you going to grow up and realize? <laughs> you like wake up and smell the rose. Right. <laughs> smell yeah. the coffee. Sorry. And I mean, it's got to be frustrating for Sansa, too, right. because Sansa's like, I get this like, shit. How do you, like, like, why how do, do you I get not? This and you don't get this. Yeah. yeah. And well, like, are you, do you think you're too good for everyone? Like, I mean, I get what he said last season when he's like, you know, words matter. And like, because if we keep making lies and it doesn't matter, I get that. But I'm I like, too. Absolutely. dude, can yeah. you not just understand that you represent the Northerners? Yeah. And like, well, I think he, that doesn't even come into his consideration. He's like, so, like, at the note. very top, he is just like, honors everything. Because if you think about it, you Does go that all make the way- him a selfish no, but person. I thought the whole point was to show he's a little different from his father now. Like, he's like, honor is important, right. but like, Honor is not the only variable. You have okay. to be smart yeah, too. Right. And was that him being smart, or no, him thinking he was, was being smart? I don't know. <laughs> and that's the thing. Like, I'm, I don't know. Because I'm not no. debating. Like, is yeah, that does that sure, make him yeah. a selfish person? Because he's like he's so concerned about his honor and like the word, and he no, forgets I don't the think people. It's selfish. I think it's naive. It's yeah. Just stupid. You know. Like, but yeah, I don't see John as a selfish person. He's not power hungry. Certainly, he's not power. He's hungry. just. Kind I'll give him that. Green. I don't know. Like <laughs> right. he's he's been through so much, but he hasn't been tortured the way that Sansa has. No. Sansa is like she's got a bit more like political acumen. Right. Right. And so. I think John has never actually had to um I think uh he's re- never really had to play the game because like he's, his, he's still up in the north with his brothers. Right. Yeah. And no and, one really looked gave him any because he they always saw him as a bastard so he didn't really matter yeah, yeah. But now that he does and even then different. when he started to matter matter um he, he he never had to fight for his power his station mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it was always given to him mm-hmm. so he had he never learned how to play the game really mm-hmm. unless he just unless until, unless it was an actual battle he had right. to fight he's a battlefield fight. commander right yeah he's not yeah. you know he's not a, he's not a politician. politician yeah he's not and so. neither is Daenerys. <laughs> no. Yeah, she's a like, conqueror. I'm not, a queen, not a politician. Not a ruler, like, yeah. Bitch. Absolutely. I mean, like, who knows? I mean, I don't... I, it, it. You know, uh, despite all of this crazy stuff that's going on with the show, um, in the end, um, I, I don't know what's going to happen. I was, and I don't know if that's a good thing, but, like, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, when we were happen. watching the episode on Sunday, I was thinking, like, oh, she's going to go crazy, and John's going to have to go Azor high on her. Right. It, We'll probably get there eventually. But then I forgot if I was reading something, I was thinking about it. But like, I realized like, well, what if it goes the other way? Like, what if she's the one who has to go as or high on him? Because of what Masande said also is like, it's Dracarys. not. A, well, not just that, but like, uh, the prophecy. It's it's the translation. It's not a he or you know. It could be yeah, either sex. The, it's it right, could be either it's, gender. It's so gender. Yeah. You know, like what if because John tries to stop her or whatever, she has to kill John to do right. her to achieve her goal. I don't know. Oh, that, that and she becomes as her high. <laughs> well, uh, what? I don't know. Um, does anybody else have any highs? You know, yeah, uh, well, you, you're. I mean <laughs> the high. Else, literally. <laughs> I mean the highs. I mean anything with torment in it. Like, <laughs> did you like Comedy Hour? There was like a comedy, hour, like a good ten right. minutes in the I mean, Winterfell cute. hall, the little, where it was like yeah. joke after joke little after drinking dick session, joke after sex right. joke after. You know, I was like, it didn't even feel like I mean, it was cute. <laughs> no. it, it was, was cute, like just jokes. as the celebration, and yeah, I mean they were trying to go with that celebration right. high, right? I think they pushed Billy it a little Tormund hard. Crying right. over Brienne, I'm like, what is this, friends? <laughs> Like, well, I thought it was funny. Like, much. and then like Tyrion was just like pouring his drink on into Tormund. Right. And, like, oh, and then, oh, yeah, and then, he, and then he cries on the Hound's shoulder. He's yeah. like, <laughs> oh it's like, who's he talking to? It felt a little like out of. It well, kind of felt like. Trust uh, me, I like humor because right, there's so right. little humor in Game of Thrones. Right. Yeah. But this was like, whoa. Well, and then what's his name? Um, Podrick was like, there oh, were two ladies in the back. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Wait, so what did you guys think of uh, Jamie and Brienne? I feel like. 
the jury's still I mean, I, 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 I some people are like, yes, just some are like, uh, I just saw it coming. Like, I always thought she right. was like gonna go for him either way. Well, like, I, I think some people saw it like one of two ways, you know, right? Like, either we already know that they they got closer to each other in season three, mm-hmm. they're probably gonna develop some kind of bond where they're, um, you know. They're like comrades. Yeah. They have a mutual respect for each other. He Absolutely. knights her, you know? Yeah. Um, and then some people were like, I hope they get together, you know, even mm-hmm. though they're an unlikely couple. I think a big complaint with this episode was the way they got together. Like it was, it was like, a drunk one night stand. Vir- I bet you're a virgin. <laughs> was, and then you're playing ten up. fingers basically. Yeah, he was basically like, You up? You know? Like and he, yeah, what <laughs> you doing? he was like, You up? What are you and doing? then she's like, he's like, Take off your shirt. It was like, What the hell? <laughs> what the I mean, yeah. I'm sorry, was, our producer was... wants to say something. Oh, right, right, right. right. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Chat comment. I like these. Yeah. Hello, chat person. So uh MJ Flores 776 says Hello MJ Flores. Think Tyrion has been through so many bad rulers that he feels Danny truly wants to do what's right for the realm. And he thinks John would be a good ruler, but he doesn't have faith that he can take the throne. He knows da- he knows Danny wants it and he still thinks she can do a good job. So basically the same that. reason that Varys got on board. Right. Right. He just hasn't changed. His but and I think exactly, yeah. they, they, he, and I kind of agree with that. Like uh, because John will probably be the same ki- type of ruler as uh, Robert Baratheon, which is a great warrior, but a shitty ruler. Right. I, could... I don't know about that. He's not going to be whoring and drinking. No, no, no. So. But well, we don't know. It's you know. John. Like John, he has more. Yeah, control that's true. Over but the fact that he's just not. He's not in that mindset of ruling. Like he doesn't, you know, he doesn't think of. Like, You're just thinking about like the, the military leader versus. Yeah, he's like, a great ruler, military, right? but not a terrible yeah. like person who thinks about the people, the food, the infrastructure, the civil structure, and all I that mean, stuff. I, well, how was he okay. as Lord Commander? I felt like he was pretty competent as Lord Commander. I think so too. The fact that he always looks so stressed out, like he's always <laughs> like, he's always like. Like he's always right. worrying about yeah. his people. About but I don't you know. know how long he was a Lord Commander either because yeah. he mean, was like then and it's like oh he's like oh well we got to go into the uh, north yeah, go north. <laughs> Sorry. yeah. Here, here you take the Lord Commander responsibility for now. Like John is responsible mm-hmm. and he he he. <sighs> But like, uh, wasn't there? Didn't they like try to say like no? You, you're Lord Commander. You can't go on this expedition. And then he and went. Then he went anyway. Right. Oh, now you're yeah. the King of Winterfell. But he went. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. So he'll he makes find a rash decision. Right. And he yeah. finds any excuse to get out of. He likes to dip out. Yeah. yeah. To get yeah, out of his position. To get out of his position. I get that. So that I think sense. that right. that kind of makes Years sense. Years ago, you know? um, I remember reading what was it? An article. Oh, the question was like, uh, oh, it was a really fascinating article by right. some like magazine that was about like leadership and like mm-hmm. business. And it was doing like character breakdowns of each character and saying who would be the best leader, Got it. who would be the best person on the throne. And when it came to Jon Snow, now this is before I believe it might have been when he just became Lord Commander. Got it. But it was basically saying like Jon has a lot of admirable leadership qualities. Mm-hmm. His problem is that he does not know how to communicate. He doesn't. Uh, a good leader keeps everyone on the same page and tells them their objectives and say, "This is why I'm doing this. Right. This is why we need to do this." But John comes to these conclusions in his own head, and then he like makes a big announcement like, "Yo, um, I'm doing this," and everyone's like, "What?" And I he's like, "I've already thought about it, and um, I just hope you understand." And then he like goes, he dips off and does his yeah, own right. thing. I That's mean, not a sign of a good leader. Yeah, I mean, uh, at right now, you know, Sansa is the top. She's probably like yeah. the best one, right? right. At she's the moment, for leadership at this moment, right. like, you know, and she's she, been she's she, she has the most. Uh, experience actually actually, actually running watching rulers yeah. and running. right and and yeah. Yeah. they did say that she's been doing a good job running, running Winterfell, Winterfell. Yeah. right they've been you know you also so. feel like she's she's very Littlefinger is she's yeah. absolutely well, she, she, she was yeah. mentored she, she was mentored said, by yeah. him she's just really, especially when she gave up the secret yeah. to Tyrion right that was very she knew like what a, that would do yeah, yeah. she, what she what absolutely yeah. that what was purposeful but she did seem like conflicted she was like. Right, and then she's she doing like, that. But she there made was someone better. Yeah. I know she made that the, the choice though. And she Ooh. was like, "I know what this is gonna do. What if? And I'm gonna do it. What, what if Sansa becomes? She does the Azor High and drives her sword through who? Jon Snow. Uh, <laughs> is it as left poetic field, and ironic? Left field theory. <laughs> Probably not. 
I, I, if, if that it was happened, Arya driving the sword through John, that would make more that sense would make to me. Everything makes sense to me. I, yeah. will, I will forgive their shitty reunion this season. <laughs> like, I would actually buy it. And then just, just so Sansa can become the see ruler that would be weak fight, because like she has never been part of the uh, the prince I was promised. Yeah, if that but, happened, but prince remember, or Earl, princess, they don't care about prophecy at this yeah. point. D and D don't care about prophecy, right? So anything's game. Well, yeah, I know. I'm just saying narratively that would be like. But then again, they are following George R. Martin's ending, so it probably are would. they really? Yes, yeah. because they he George, gave them notes. He told them from the beginning, "This is the ending." In case I don't finish the books in time, got it. Yeah, so it it will probably will follow the books. We'll see. Although I have my own theories about that. About them following the books? Or? I think that George R. R. Martin may be delaying coming out with Winds of Winter because he's like rewriting the whole thing <laughs> to make it like even better and totally different right. from the show. Than what D&D. Yeah. Because &D. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he himself doesn't even know how it's going to end. He's so he, like, he just whole scale fucked the D Yeah, the he's like, D's. fuck you guys. And then, whole scale fucked. Yeah. yeah. One more comment from yep. MJ Flores, 776. Yeah, buddy. He said, well, John wasn't a great Lord Commander. If you think about it, he lost mm -hmm. the confidence of his men, and they killed him. Yeah, they killed him for it. Yeah, <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. Like he doesn't he let the wild explain his in. motives. But he also very Ned Stark ish. Very Ned Stark ish. He did it because he realized it was the right thing to do. Right. And it's, that's yeah. where my heart is always divided because I'm always like, I feel like it is the right thing to do. Right. But th and that's but, why I'm not a politician. Yeah. You know. But there's like no, there's absolutely. a right thing to absolutely. do, but yeah. then you have to explain or let people slide into it because those yeah. other people those night well, night watchmen you gotta were charm not them. like yeah we like, are not like him or not him right and john is not a he's not a charmer no, no. He, he's not even very tactful either no no he's no. just like he's so clumsy and awkward yeah he's like this is what we're gonna do <laughs> i want to go do it tonight right like, like yeah. you know and like, i mean if he was the king of the seven kingdoms, yes, he can do that. He goes like, oh, I feel like he it. Boom, make it happen. Supreme power. Right. Supreme but power. Doesn't. But he doesn't. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if even if you think back to like when he executed Jano Slint, right? Yeah. He Which says he uh, he tells Jano Slint, "You're going to Eastwatch," and that's kind of it. The guy says no, and he was like, "All right, we're going to kill you." <laughs> <laughs> there was no explanation. Yeah. He was just like, "I'm the Lord Commander, and this is the word." Which I mean, yeah. which. Uh, I don't know. Uh, that might have been the linchpin that kind of like set like Sir Alistair against him. Yeah, they were like, the fuck? Yeah, I mean, he was already, he's right. hated him from day one. Right, you know? absolutely. But. So, uh, yeah. No, it's all very interesting. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a little point. Any one other more questions? comment. Yeah. Uh, yeah. From someone I don't recognize. Uh, What's this? Jennifer Zhang. <laughs> Jennifer oh Zhang. Who okay. is that? Um, is she who's that? Uh, okay. Says, yeah. I feel like Azar Ahai myth is now defunct now because even Davos said as much. And she said she hated it. Hated what? Hated yeah. the fact that like the Azar Ahai Azar's myth is sort of just gone. Just right. There, yeah. I mean. Welcome to the club. Like the, <laughs> I know. People people were messaging me saying, like, man, if you hated the long night, you must have hated this last episode. Right. I said, I mean, what's the difference? Like <laughs> I felt this way since season seven. Like I, in right. fact, if anything, everything was uphill from there. Like I could I was only seeing good things now. Because right. I was like, Okay, I like that. I like that. You know, um, I don't know. Well, I, I want to give a shout out to like my favorite um, Game of Thrones podcast, the Bald Move guys, and they What's have it Bald Move. Bald Move. Bald. Yeah. Are they bald all bald? Move. B -A -L -D? Uh, I don't know. It, it's it's a Star Trek reference. Oh, okay. And, um, oh, like Picard. Yeah, and uh, they came up with this hashtag. Uh, Aaron, who's one of the hosts, said, um, I, "I am I, I am declaring fan bankruptcy." Like I have no more money in this bank. I'm pulling it, it all out. Wow, he I'm got pulling that, out. He got pulling that frustrated. Out. Yeah, yeah. Mm. and I'm like, I'm kind of at that point. I think I was okay after the first two episodes, and then like the you know the Battle of Winterfell kind of just set me off. I'm like, mm, okay. And then this, this last one, yeah. you were like, yeah. Hashtag <laughs> declare fan bank. Well, one of my best friends, Nikki, who like yeah. when when Game of Thrones first came out, we were the ones right. like geeking about it. Yeah. Um, she called me up after the first episode and she was like, what do you think? Isn't it great? <laughs> and I was like, no, it sucks. And I ranted for like an hour. Now, yeah. Fast forward to like yesterday. I call her up. I was like, so what do you think? She's like, I think you influenced me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, now when I point out these things, you can't unsee it, right? She's right. like, yeah, I can't unsee so, it. So, oh, go ahead. Well, finish. she said, 
she's like, I feel like there's two camps. There's people who are just enjoying it for what it is. And right. then there's a camp yeah. that's critical. Yeah. I said, so which one are you? She's like, I guess I'm leaning more towards a critical camp now. Right. Yeah. She's like, because, you know, like, it's true. <laughs> like, yeah. I guess, yeah. Can't I'm, see certain things. Yeah. I think I'm just enjoying it for what it is. <laughs> I think, well, at this point, I kind of am too now. Uh, well, I'm doing both. I, I'm right. still criticizing stuff, and I'm also like, let's point out the good stuff. There's still some exciting stuff happening. Um, I think I'm over my bitterness. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I, like I, I'm starting to see the light and come no. back out. Okay. Like, it's okay. Just watch it. I think yeah. I'm, yeah, firmly in the middle. Where oh, you're I'm, still there. You're still yeah. working throughout your issues. Well, no, <laughs> I, I think that I'm I'm very much set on enjoying the rest of what happens. I'm going to try, yeah. And like, um, just because, like, you know, you enjoy something and it's your favorite thing doesn't mean you, can, you can't you can criticize yeah. it. Of course. So, like, I'm still going to do that. I'm going to still enjoy it, but I'm going to point out the bullshit. So <laughs> I'm, just, like, <laughs> I'm just wondering if anyone in, in our audience, if you guys can comment and if you guys, what you guys think. So... Saying what you just said, right? Do you think it's, this is going to end like the way Lost ended? I hope to fucking god not. <laughs> Where like you I never really get any answers. You're just like god it's like not. anticlimactic ending. Like for all that the Lost fans, purgatory ending. I was like, so yeah. <laughs> like if you guys can comment, like yeah, comment below on if you think this is going to close off like Lost. <laughs> Dude, it sucks. Okay, people have been making Lost parallels to me. They're like, this I could might see be that. like the ending of Lost. Yeah. It's just like anticlimactic. Well, I, like, I, now I didn't uh, watch Lost. I saw the first episode and that was it. Watch but, up till season five and then you can just turn it just off. Just turn it off. <laughs> so you're saying up until season five, it's a solid show. It's not solid, but it's interesting. It's interesting. So let me, yeah. I'm going to add one more comment from right. Jen. Okay. Uh, she said the bullshit got under my skin this past episode. Who Jen did? Jen? Jen. Okay. <laughs> she right. said she actually hated this episode more. It then. felt like complete fan fiction. Okay. She said me and Caitlin switched places. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I, I've already processed these feelings. Yeah, so I, I'm like... I gotta try. To, I gotta try. I need to keep the faith. <laughs> That's how I felt in season seven, where right. it was like Dark Night of the Soul. Like by episode <laughs> five, I was like, this is so bad. I... I was like, I woke up like depressed. I was like, I can't believe I just watched that episode. Now I'm like, after the Night King travesty, you can only right. go so far. So it's it's only up from here, you guys. <laughs> right. It's only up from here. Yeah. Like, like they're setting up some. St- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, to me, like, like to your. <laughs> I mean, going to your lost comment. I mean, that's right. definitely yeah. that's a great parallel because. Uh, yeah, there was probably the first sort of really mass pop culture show that really got skewered, like in the age of the internet, right? right. Because it basically didn't it didn't stick the it's landing just, to yeah, a lot of people, but the, to a lot of people, right? And even even ironically, right. George R. R. Martin. He actually wrote a blog post saying about Lost season six, about Lost, how the ending of Lost, right? And we'll we'll link this in our on our on our socials and our webpage. Got it. But basically, um, he lambasted right. the showrunners of Lost. Sounds delicious. And he basically Is it said, lambasted? Oh, lambasted. <laughs> "That's <laughs> yummy." I know. I, I just okay. thought about. I, like, I just thought uh, about the polenta <laughs> really quick. <laughs> <laughs> you think of the chicken, the, the, yeah, the dude, chicken and also, so good. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So sorry, essentially, yeah. he said, and I'm totally paraphrasing, but he essentially said, he goes, he really hopes he doesn't end Game, Game of Thrones, of Thrones. <laughs> how Lost well, did. Fuck, man. Yeah. And it is such the irony <laughs> of so ironies scary, yeah. that, like, he's not even finished yet. Well, I and mean, the series Ronnie, is kind of doing it. Well, but the thing is, but But essentially, I, you know, Game of Thrones, his creation, his creation yeah. is not sticking the landing. It's I so have meta. to. I have to. Well, <laughs> well, 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 for Rodney, it's not finished. So, right. like, you, we'll don't, see you what can't happens. say that. I hope it doesn't, though. Uh, everything I, I hope I've it read from George yeah. R. Martin, right? Like, even his stuff from the seventies. Right. I'm always like, this guy knows what he's doing. Like, he's not gonna leave us hanging. He's not gonna leave us unsatisfied. Right. He's always gonna finish us off. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like we, we always want. Tell me about it. it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How does one finish off another person? I'm kidding, please? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, you know no, 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 no. You started down this track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need you to How finish is... this off. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's always going to Dragon leave glass dildo. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> this is so ironic. Anyways, look, okay. Um, so, you know, like, like 
I, I I believe in George. I know he has. That's to come a good out with T-shirt a book. right there. I, I believe trust. in George. In Trademark. George, I trust. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, now I didn't watch Lost, but I hear wildling opposing opinions about the ending. I'm sure. Wildling, wildling opposing wilding, opinions. Wildling, <laughs> wildling. Wildlings are opposing it. Some people are saying, you know, those who are invested in the character arcs had a satisfying ending. People who are entrenched in the mythos and mythology and theories were dissatisfied. Right. I feel like I would be in the dissatisfied camp mm, if yeah. I was like. Because it was building a really cool mythos. Wait, so and if I'm not mistaken, essentially, you're seeing the same thing. Right. Well, right. It, it was We're about, seeing the same like, thing people, with the Game of Thrones. You have this cool the people mythos. that are into the fantasy and the lore. They want to know where the Night King came from, mm, yeah, exactly. right. et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas now it's like they're really choosing more of the character stuff, mm-hmm. the more of the political intrigue. Someone's got to get disappointed. They're choosing either way. Right. more of this yeah. stuff, right? But they're not even pulling off the character stuff yeah, right now, which but, is the crazy know, part thing. Of that, but remember when we were talking after the right. dinner? Didn't you, bl- didn't you lay all the blame on cert- one certain person's feet? Yeah, it's George, man. We laid this on the on the altar of George R. It, R. Martin. It, uh, look, I understand it. It you can't rush good writing, and when you have as complex and as rich and as satisfying as a story as A Song of Ice and Fire, yeah. it's gonna take you a long time to finish it. However, sometimes I just can't get over my disappointment that George left me hanging like right? that. Right, no, same like, here. We wouldn't be arguing about this stupid shit if George had just sat his ass down in front of his <laughs> fucking laptop and finished that fucking book. Like, Yo. just even give us one book. It doesn't even have to finish the last one. Just this hey, one book. Lay off George. If you had that HBO money, <laughs> no, 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 you no. ain't gonna be on that keyboard. No, right. He's gonna be. He's, no. he's he's uh, he's doing coke I and chicks believe, right now. I don't. <laughs> I trust that George is a true Dude, artist. He's not doing it for the money. He's not doing it for the money. He's doing it for the art itself, and he wants to make his story as good as it can be. That's what I believe, and that's what I'm standing nah, George, for. I, got, I, I got you, I George. Absolutely I know George is sending that money on. <laughs> I don't think there's. I don't Why? think there's a malicious thought behind it at no. all. No, he's and a he's a true artist. Right, that's why, and it. he takes forever. Like he's a but, perfectionist. But, but still, and at the same time, he betrayed us. But still, like, he took too long. But if you're gonna take long, George, I say you know get on a treadmill and like <laughs> yeah, yeah, improve no, like, your health like, a little bit. We were talking about take this. Take care of your health. Oh Dude, shit. Arnold can give you a keto diet. Yeah, like, yeah, dude. You know, Ed, instructions. And will be your personal trainer. You know, he'll just. I'll, I'll help you work out, bro. On a keto diet. Because so. I want you to live longer I so you can finish the book. But really, like, you know, <laughs> in the beginning when George signed up for this, the, you know, on everybody's mind, like the D&Ds did not, you know, they did not sign up. To, to write fan fiction, which is what ha- is happening yeah. right now. Yeah, and I mean, we're, you know, we're talking a whole bunch of mess. There'd you be know? more sex scenes if it was fan fiction. <laughs> I know, right. Nah, There'd be more slash stuff. <laughs> it would be dragon sex. But, um, <laughs> with incest, tor- dragon, with Torment. Okay, incest, dragon <laughs> right. sex. Yeah. I mean, there's just, there's a lot of blame to go around. So, I don't know. I mean, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. From who? From from me, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll, let's do one more question and then we'll 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 wrap it up. But um, so it's two episodes left, right? What do you guys think is going to happen? I don't know. There's just going to be a big gaping hole in my life once this is over. Like uh, eight I, years I'm trying to find a new series to pick up. Right, yeah. it's waiting for I the mean, expanse to. That's what's going to happen. The expanse, yeah. The expanse, the expanse series four be, is going to happen. And, yeah, uh, we're going to forget about loader. this. Yeah. But I mean, two minutes. Like new the two loader, episodes right, are. It's good. They're both ninety or an hour. I think one of them is Miguel Sapochnik too. So. I mean, I think there's going to be one more battle scene. Yeah, I'm yeah I think so too. There must be. And if then, Miguel Sapochnik is like on board, then yeah, there's going to be another battle. Well, what do you guys think? Uh, from what I heard, there's rumors, and just be careful on the internet. But they leaked out the final yeah. episode. Yeah, it's like, yeah. been leaked. The script or the sh- actual. Like a bootleg version script, of the film, just like the season seven script got leaked. I think that's oh, what okay. Leaked. Oh, so you would really have to try hard you to, to read. Find you would it. actually have yeah. to find it and read it. Yeah. yeah, but I think most people don't want to spoil it for themselves. Yeah, I know. Why. It's yeah. like two two weeks away. Why? Yeah, we're too. Why would you even leak in. that? Yeah. But I know. Oh, because people are idiots. Whatever. Well, um, my my former roommate was so incensed by the last episode, right. he gave up all faith in Game of Thrones and read the ending. <laughs> <laughs> so he I likes it. Never get that. You know. There you go. He likes it. Yeah, I won't say more than that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, don't, I think it's gonna be fighting and political turmoil in two episodes. Well, I in, think yeah. yeah, I think well, if we're 
to believe where you know this all this foreshadowing all this seeding has has is leading us yeah with these last couple of episodes Daenerys is going to try to burn King's Landing. Yeah. John might go Azoro high on her. Who knows? He might we'll kill find her. Out. Right. Um, yeah. Cersei's going to escape. Wait, where Hound. is John? Is John there? No. Where? He's arriving in the next episode. Yeah, he's oh. arriving. Because they were. Wait, going why didn't he land. go with her? Because she didn't want him to ride the dragon and he was going to go by land with his army. Mm, okay. Right. <laughs> they had a fight. The fight. Okay. I was like, I'm so babe. sad. The nurse isn't yeah, talking to me. You take the Uber yourself. Yeah. I know. Okay. Yeah. That's, yeah. What, that's what well, it's she, like. No, I don't want to call. Like, they didn't want to. They didn't want to. She's r- mad because he's not. He, he refuses to give the D. Yeah. <laughs> she's she's letting. Uh, like he's to letting her, her it's normal. That's okay for so her. So he doesn't. He doesn't get to ride the D. But he can't. Right. He can't. Yeah. Yeah. He refused to give the D. She won't give the D. She won't give the D. And the dog died. My my last hope. Is that we're gonna get a Clegane Bowl, and that's it. And th- if that happens, will you be happy? <laughs> I will be. Watch him take that away from you. I gray, know. gray worm versus the mountain. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be somewhat content. Um, Do we think Cersei's gonna live after episode eight? Oh man, I don't know. Or, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Alaria's, I'm sorry, episode eight, episode six. I mean, Alaria is gonna bust out a dungeon and kill her. Watch, it's gonna be something <gasps> stupid. Alaria's still there, huh? Right. They're keeping her alive. Yeah, that's what she is said. Is she still alive? Yeah, because they, yeah. They, they, they want her to die slowly, or they right. want to just keep her there. Right. I forgot about that's that. That's gonna be the but Deus she's, Ex Machina. She's still alive. If that but shit she's happens, gotta be. I'm she's burning everything I yeah. own. That's GOT. I'm burning it all. She's so in. I'm gonna go to Karis no, on the shit. Yeah. All this burned. Oh, if she's a Deus Ex Machina. Yeah. Fuck oh, that, would be that shit. As fuck. She's in. Uh, uh, yeah, fuck. that would be stupid because she so she would dumb. be in no shape dead. to take yeah. on Cersei. Like, anyway, be... on that very positive note, <laughs> we should close this discussion for this week. We're gonna be back next week, every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time on twitch.tv slash pangeekery. Follow us, on all, follow us on all the socials um, on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Um, hit like, subscribe, comment on our iTunes. Um, subscribe to our YouTube. Yeah, subscribe on the YouTubes. YouTube. And uh, we're going to see you next week with the breakdown of next week's episode. Um, we don't have any um, titles for any of them, so uh, whatever that's going to be called. And uh, thank you to our crew. Thank you, crew. Thank you, you so much. You guys are awesome. You guys are always great. Thank you to our sponsors, Jimmy John's, Thanks, $10 Jimmy John's. box lunch. Thank you to PWC, Filipino Worker Center. Yep. And we'll see everybody next week. Woo! Woo! Bye! Bye, guys. Dun, dun. And Geekly Week Podcast, covering all things geek from an all-diverse perspective. Visit us online at www.com. And give me that call.